Hey there, we're going to go over the code behind the scenes inside of this microcontroller now. So you just heard the device boot up and here we have the web portal for the smart thermostat. As you can see, there is not much going on here. It's just dumping the serial port logs. As you can see, I'm flashing the ESP32 chip right now with the code that is written over here and it will jump to the serial monitor right there. Yep, the device just booted and uh, you can see there are two temperature sensors, the sensor zero and sensor one. The cool thing about the DS18B20 is they use the same pin to for all the sensors. Here we have the main function and here you can see that we have the setup function over here and the default loop. Now note that the default loop is renamed to CPU1 short loop and that is because the default loop runs in the CPU1. I put all the mission critical things, especially the display in the CPU2. So the CPU2 most of the time will be dedicated to making sure the display refreshes so fast that the human eyes don't see any kind of flickering. That is important. Any kind of delay will show us flickering, which is a bad experience, which is why the reading of temperature, which sometimes takes time, is gonna run in the main core, core one of the microcontroller. Same with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connectivity will be happening in the core one. Now, you will notice that I have added the Wi-Fi, the first connection is happening before even the core two starts loading any of the other activities. And the reason is I found if I interfere the Wi-Fi connection the first time, once it is connected, it's fine. But for the first time, if it is doing anything else, um, maybe because of power issue or whatever the issue is, the Wi-Fi connectivity fails. So keeping the Wi-Fi connectivity separately before anything else starts is a good idea. The code is split into other uh, files, header files, uh, which is why you will see the main code is very short. For example, getting the chip information is here. It grabs all the chip, how many cores it has, the memory and all that um, shows up over here, the free memory. And then we have the display. So everything that is for you know displaying the seven segment um, LED display is uh, here so that way other the other code does not look messy and I have a miscellaneous file here header file which does simple things like beeps and stuff that is refactored out over here and then we have the temperature and this is uh, where we are actually reading from the sensor this one function is actually finding all the sensors available. So you can ad hoc add any number of sensors you want or remove sensors if you want. And it will find all the sensors in that pin, which is pin 13 as it is defined over here. And it will find the uh, temperatures. And if it is error uh, temperature, so it's not the correct temperature, it will uh, make sure that it doesn't take that into the average calculation. Um, and then we have the Wi-Fi function, obviously, and this is where much more needs to be written because right now what it is responding with on the web uh, portal is very basic.